What's up guys, welcome back to another Revit video. In this video we'll be covering how to recover your entire work shared model if it's corrupt. This can be extremely stressful and you might think, well as soon as you see something that says your model's corrupt or something like that, it's time to flip the table, go home, or just find the nearest roof and jump off. While I would say that, that both of those are applicable at certain times, this is not one of them because there is an easy fix to corrupt models. It may, you might lose some work, which is just the reality of having a corrupt model. You're basically losing a model, but it's not the end of the world. Thankfully, it's not the end of the world, and we're going to show you how to do this in this video. If throughout the duration of this video you do learn something, please demolish that like button. It really helps. Let's get right into it. What I have open now is just a basic, generic, out of the box project. And I have two instances of this open. I'm actually going to show you here and here. So what I have is I've got person one and person two. And that's, that's nice. I, and an, what I have is a work shared model. And we know what we're in a work shared model. If we see we have active work sets, we can go into our work set and see that I actually have work sets. And that you can see this synchronize button usable. That's great. I, again, I'm in the same model and I've named the model like corrupt or something like this. And I've got two different users. I've got like person one and person two. Just to show you an example as if you were working in one model in an office with multiple people, how you might recover a corrupted model. So what would you see and how would you know that you have a corrupt model? Well, it would look a little bit like this. You get something like this that would pop up when you're trying to sync that would say you cannot synchronize to the central model until it is repaired. Well, that's great. You, you know, the first instinct would be to flip the table, and that's mine as well. And even I, I know what to do as far as fixing this, but I still want to flip the table. But you're going to see this, and you're not going to have any option but to press close and just deal with it. And how do we deal with it? Well, let's cover that now. So again, remember, you're probably going to see something like this that says corrupt or can't sync or something. So how do we deal with this? Well, let's first consult our absolute best friend, and I hope this is your best friend when it comes to Revit, but the work sharing monitor. I have a separate video to this that will appear up in the cards at the top of this video right now. Please check that out. Please use it. It is so valuable, and it's the most valuable in cases like this where you have a corrupt model and you need to deal with it. And in this video, we'll cover how to deal with it. So let's open that up. And so I've got the work sharing monitor open here for Revit 2020. And you can see I've got both my files open. It's the same file. And if I hover over this tab, I can see the actual local file name and the location. I, I think the default is just your user documents folder. In this case, it's my H drive and documents. So look there for your local files because they're saved somewhere. It's not where the central is necessarily. Now you can change that if you want in Revit, but by default, it's probably your documents folder and it's just in the documents folder itself. So I'm in my documents and they're the two open local, local files person for person one and person two. And we can clearly see I've got two people in this model. And because this is bolded, you can see that both users have the work sharing monitor open. In this case, both users are me. And so I have the work sharing monitor open. It's both bolded for both and it says working in local. Everything is great. You can see the last sync. Everything is awesome. So let's say that we're going about our business and we sync and we see this dreaded window pop up. What do we do? We hit close. Great. We're going to close it. Then what do we do? Like I said, next we go to the work sharing monitor. And what are we trying to get out of the work sharing monitor? Well, the idea is that we take someone's local file and we save that as a new central file. Well, that's all pretty simple. If you've watched a previous video of mine of how to make a central, all you need to do is just save as that particular local file and then save over that central model, yada yada, and you have a new central model. Great. Well, so how do we use the work sharing monitor to do that? And why would we even need to use this? Well, if you have between, you know, anything more than one person working in your model, two to five to 20, you're gonna have multiple people at one time syncing, doing their work, whatever. So it will get to a point where certain people, you know, let's say this happens to person one and they get that corrupt file. Well, person two is out of luck. 
they're, they're like, what the hell? And they just throw their hands up and say, well, what about my work? Well, that is where this comes in. So I would first go to the history, and we can see here, person one, person two, and we can basically see when these people synced. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to go to person one, and I'm going to go ahead and sync. And we're going to see that person one is syncing right here. I'm going to close the history. They successfully synced. We're going to go back to our history and see there's person one. So person one just synced at 134. Great. And now it's corrupt. Crap. You know, right after this, it's corrupt. And you're going to start to know that it's corrupt whenever you see that this action no longer says sync to central. It might say like tried or re, you know, reloaded, failed, or, or sync failed, or sync not complete. You'll get all those types of different things that don't say sync with central because that means it was not successful and people will start getting hung up on their sinks if they can't sync to the model because it's corrupt it's just going to happen so what are we doing with the work sharing monitor we're going into the history and at this point all we need to do is determine whose local file is going to replace the central file okay well it, this can be a touchy subject but if you're managing the model and it doesn't matter who is but if if you are for example I would go, I would say, everyone, just stop what you're doing. Don't close. Don't do anything. I would ask everyone to determine the amount of work that they've done since they've synced last. So the nice thing about the work sharing monitor history is we can see who's been in the model and when, and we can see when they synced and if it was complete. The status will tell you if it's complete. So basically, if you go to the last person who was completed, that's good. That's a great local to use. But there might be someone who has, let's say someone hasn't synced all day because they forgot or something. Anyways, you should sync more than once a day, clearly. But let's say you've got two people in this case, like what we do. Person one just synced. Perfect. And then person one goes to sync again. And let's say this second time that we just synced, I got my error. My model's corrupt. Crap. What do I do? Well, at this point, let's go, let's talk to person one and person two, person one being yourself. You can clearly see that before this saying that it did not complete, for example, that it was complete at 124. So 10 minutes ago, whatever, it completed. Perfect. So person one, 10 minutes of work, maybe not a big deal. But let's say person two, instead of sinking at 124, let's say it was yesterday or last night and they've been working for 12 hours and they've got 12 hours of work, and they're like, oh my gosh, this is the end of the world. They want to go home, probably. They just want to forget about it. What do we do? Well, we're going to take their local file and save that as the new central file. How would we do that? Well, in the creation of a central file, you'll have a local file, and you have the option of saving your local file and syncing. So whenever you go to the sync button here, we've been through this before, but as soon as you go to the sync button here, there's a checkbox that's default that to be checked, and it says save local file before and after syncing your sync. That's perfect. That's checked by default, so you save your local file, and then you send that to the central file, and then you get everything from the central, and then you save your local. So basically, you're up to date on the local, and you've updated to the central. That makes sense. So... Obviously, we know we can't sync if we have a corrupt model, but what, what can we do? Well, we would take the person who, you know, let's say would lose the most work. We'd have them save locally because, again, we're going to use that local file to make the new central. So what will we do? We'll take their file and we'll just go to the save. And if we just go to the save, it's only going to save your local. That's just like any other traditional save in any other program. It has nothing to do with work sharing or syncing or anything. So we just save that person, or person number two, who forgot to sync 12 hours now. We'll save their local file, and then I can go into the local files here, and I've got person two. And I would, all I would do is I would close everything, close absolutely everything down. So let, let's actually go ahead with this, and I will close this down. We're, you can see now that we're not in a work sharing mo or work shared model. I'll go to open and I'm going to go to my documents.
And once I'm in my documents, I will open person two. And you'll see that because this is not a central, I can't create a new, a new local because it's a local. It's just like opening any other Revit project that's not a central model. That's fine. I'll hit open. And once I do that, I'm not even, nothing will pop up in the work sharing monitor. And once I do that, and once I do that, you'll see the work sharing monitor does populate like I'm in a central model, which I, you know, I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily, uh, trust this. So the work sharing monitor will pop up because again, this is, this local file is of a central. It's not its own standalone local file. It's a part of a central. So if I do sync, if I, and I attempt to sync this local file, it will direct me to the actual location of the central file. We don't want to do that. And even if we try to do that, it's not going to work because it's corrupt. Remember that. So what do we do now? All we need to do is go to file, save as, and we're just going to make a new central file. At this point, everyone's out of the model and I've got the model right here, corrupt example. And I would go to options and I would make this central model after I save. Perfect. I'm going to save it. And this is going to say, yes, the file corrupt already exists. You want to replace it. Well, that's exactly what we're doing. We're replacing the person who would have lost all their work, had them save it as a local file, use that local file as an overwrite to the corrupt central model. And there you go. After we do that, boom, this is going to sync again. Just like I said in the past video, I definitely want to get out of this model and reopen the local of it. Because at this point you could see that I'm in the central model and this is going to happen right after you make a central. It's just, it's just the way it is. You want to be in your own local. So you're not working directly in the central. So all I need to do is I just need to close it. Not a big deal. I'll go back to open. I'll go to my corrupt and I'll create a new local. And because I already have one that's named the same, I'm just going to override it. And now I have my new local copy in a, a work sharing monitor that is no longer corrupt. And now everyone can get back in. And so the main problem with this is if you have five people and you have someone who didn't sync 12 hours ago, you have them save and you override it. Well, everyone who didn't get to sync before the model became corrupt will lose all their work except the one person you use their local file to save it over and make the new new work shared file it's just the way it is and unfortunately the more people you have the more people will lose work and just it's just the nature of a corrupt model there's nothing really you can do around it the nice part is if one or even two of you are in it and you sync regularly or if it's just the one person you won't lose any work because you can save locally and just save over the, the work shared model like we've covered. It's pretty simple. So <laughs> please don't freak out when you see that. You might be pissed. I'm always pissed when I see it because especially when I have a lot of people, then I have to talk to everyone and make sure you have the right file and then go from there and save it over. It's just kind of a hassle, but no need to flip the tables or jump off roofs immediately. There are other things that might make you want to do that too that you probably should. But this video covered everything to do with overriding our central file that might have been corrupt. So if you learn something, please demolish that like button. It really helps. Also change the phase of that subscribe button to existing. That also really helps. And you're awesome if you stuck around this long. I mean, really, this is, I talked in 18 circles and covered the same thing for 10 minutes or something now. But sure, I hope you learned something. Hope to see you in the next video and have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.